Hey guys, welcome to Blissful Hearts Farm. Today I'm going to talk about pine needle tea. It is power packed with vitamin C, a wonderful, perfect drink for this time of year. And the taste is phenomenal. When I first heard about it, I was a little skeptical. Now it is one of my favorite teas ever. And I love it because I go right to my backyard, grab some pine needles and go. And um, it's, it's just wonderful. But I'm going to go with you the quick single serving way. And what you're going to need is a single serve coffee maker. You're going to need a fine mesh strainer. For me, I use honey for sweetener, but you can use anything, agave, nectar, stevia, maple syrup. But I prefer honey before it's medicinal purposes. I love neem and heather honey. This particular one is wildflower. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to want to go outside and grab about 20 to 25 pine needles, depending on the length of the pine needles. You want to make sure they're beautiful and bright, you know, bright vivid green. And you want to bring them in and cut them into two inch pieces. Then you're going to stick them in the cup. And then you're going to go ahead and make your tea. I don't know if you can see those pine needles down in there. All right. Then all you're going to do is let that steep for two to five minutes. I prefer five because I like a light pine flavor and it's absolutely wonderful. Um, if you want something milder, I'd do two to four. But most people, you should do it at least for five. Now, if you feel like you're getting sick and you want a really robust flavor and you want a ton of vitamin C just in one cup, go ahead and boil water, then pour it over your coffee mug with the spoon in it so the glass or the um, ceramic doesn't crack. And you're going to want to steep that for, you know, uh, up to 15 minutes. So, but that's definitely going to be more robust, but it's still delicious. Trust me, I've tried it always. This is just my quick on-the-go way. And um, you just go ahead and get your honey in the bottom. I use a tablespoon and a half to two tablespoons. Then you're going to want to grab your strainer. Grab that. Okay. Now I'm going to take my tea and just pour it on in. And most of the time, your pine needles won't even hardly come out into that. They'll mostly stick into the cup. Okay. Give that a shake. See all the pine needles? Okay. So, come back here. Grab the strainer. Give it a shake. Now I'm just going to stir the tea. And it should be that light yellowish green, really pretty color tea. Come back away so you can see that. And it's absolutely delicious. I know that you will enjoy it. It's so good for you. The vitamin C is so much easier absorbed into your body than taking the pills. And a lot of times they give you the wrong form in the pills. So be, be, you know, do your um, research on that. This is a very easily absorbed vitamin C. It's been used for hundreds of years. So um, I hope you give it a try. I hope you like it, and I hope this was helpful. And let me know if you like it. Um, and also, just want to tell you, don't forget to check out my other videos. Um, in those videos, you're going to meet my little critters on the farm and uh, Sasha, Red, Little Frankie, soon you'll be meeting Spirit and my crazy chickens, oh my goodness, um, they are characters, trust me, um, but anyway, I love to give you a little laugh, a little heartwarming um, video to watch with them, and then the other part of Blissful Hearts Farm is, is about the natural healing and, and going out what you can find right around you for free in your backyard, um, or you know, you just, you never know what you can find, and there's so many wonderful things. I'll never forget when I first started learning about what we call weeds, <laughs> and there's so many healing plants out there that are right in our own yards, and when I, I remember when I first learned about it, and I went outside to look around to see what I had growing, I was floored. I had like 10 varieties of very potent medicinal herbs in my yard. I was so excited. But remember, with any of this, you always want to know, make sure that you are very educated about it. Make sure you do your research. Make sure that you identify the species correctly because some can be deadly. 
Um, and, you know, but the wealth of the planet is just so abundant. And a lot of it, it's for free. It's wonderful. But um, anyway, guys, thank you for coming. And, you know, well, coming. Thank you for joining me and tuning in. And I hope you will do more. And I will definitely be putting out more videos. I will see you soon.